Hi, in this video, we'll show you how to get started with the progress bar macro in Confluence. Progress bars provide a visual representation of progress, helping users quickly understand the status of the content they are reading or any other processes. To begin, navigate to your Confluence page and hit edit. First, we will add detailed steps on top of our page, type slash progress bar. A dialog box appears, offering different progress bar styles. For this first example, choose steps. Here, you can select between a linear, circular, or arrow-based design for the steps. Customize the colors, layout, and style to match your page design. Now, let's add content to each step. For each one, include a title and, if needed, a link. You can also mark any step as the current step to indicate where readers are in the process. For our second example, we'll add percentage bars within a table, which is ideal for tracking the progress of individual projects. Navigate to any cell in your table and type slash progress bar again. This time, select percentage instead of steps. The percentage bar offers a different look, with options like linear, circular, or half-circular styles. Once you choose your style, customize the appearance and enter your content. Unlike the step-based bar, this single percentage bar allows you to include only one title, link, and percentage value, making it simple to track the progress of each specific project. Finally, hit save, and then update to see the progress bars in action on your page. And there you have it. Progress bars are available within our content formatting toolkit for Confluence Cloud. To learn more, check out our documentation and detailed blog posts. And if you'd like to see it in action, give our app a try.